Hi everyone, good morning. I wanted to share with you guys a couple things that I've been working on. I'm going to have a couple of videos in the next few days. Um, I purchased these um, clothespins from Michaels. They came in a bag like this. I think there's 24 in there and they were 99 cents because they were clearanced out. And they have cork on them. So I thought they were so pretty. I thought, you know, why not alter them? So I went ahead and I've been playing around. Whenever I have like piece of uh, a scrap paper that I really like I don't throw it away I either cut out butterflies with it or mason jars and then I just alter those so that's what I did with these see you can see the clothes pins I just wrap either twine or you know this string here or whatever and then I just embellish it with anything here's a piece of twine and I made these and these are really fun because you can take out all your fun little things that you usually don't, you know, have. And you have just have them in pretty bowls or something. And you can take them out and play with them. And then I made this one. So that's, that's really fun. But that's what I did with those. And then let me show you the Christmas ones that I made. I made these. This is a winter paper. That's a really, really old paper. And then I made these with the snowflakes and then I made one red because I only had one piece left and then I just put the twine here and the little gold bow then I made these these clothes pins now these were the ones that Michaels had I think last year and they were silver and gold so these are the ones that I made I put this mirrored snowflake on them sorry that's my fan going in here and then I put I may I use these um, I have a lot of stickers and there's a lot of stickers that you don't use and even though they're so pretty you're like no I don't want it on that layout or I don't want it on that card so I just went ahead and I put them on again the clothes pins and they're just cute to send out to someone in a rack you know with with something attached to them and then I made these were also stickers and what I did is I used baby powder in the back of the sticker so the stickiness will go away so I made these three and then this was also another one and see it was a sticker and I just went ahead and I put baby powder on it to take off the stickiness and then I made these I have a bunch of these felt pieces <coughs> sorry guys and let me just bring the tray over here I made these little felt um, mittens and I just added a little a bow this is a resin bow with glitter and this is just a regular bow ribbon bow with a little um a snowflake on it and then these boxes gift boxes and again they're just with, on the clothes pins so that's what i've been working on and then let me show you one more thing that i made let me take this out of the way i had seen um on laura's video she had the um owl die and I thought it was so cute. I said, I have to go out and get it. And I did. I purchased it. But I hadn't done anything with it for a while. I got sick and I was decorating. So I didn't do anything with it. And then all of a sudden I saw Anna's video, who is a phallus 72 here on YouTube. And she was, she had made a plushie, plushie or pushy or I think it's a plushie that she made. And she made them with pink um, felt and stuff but I decided I'd make mine Christmas so I bought this fabric that was pieces of remnant and they were 50% off at um, Joann's and I thought oh how cute to make them Christmassy so I did add the eyes that cut out with it and the nose now I did not stitch mine I used the three in one um this glue let me show you guys oops oh my pens fell over oh boy um this three-in-one advanced craft glue and this dries really really fast so that's what I did mine with I just stitched it I stitched the legs I started off stitching all on top and then afterwards I only left this little piece here open I stuffed it with this which is what I use on my village as the snow in the bottom and then I went ahead and I after I stuffed it I you know glued this piece here I, you, I, made, I put the little wings on it, and then the beak, I did stuff the beak. So the beak is, you can see it there, fluffy. And after I, I 
glued here and here and then I stuffed it and then I glued around again. The eyes are just, you know, cut out from the same die and then I just put um, googly eyes on it. A little bow and a little bling on it. And then this one, is they're, they're all the same except for the bows are a different color. And then I made this one. So these are really cute little gifts just to send to someone in a rack just as a, a little gift and stuff. So, um that's what i have for now i will be back though with another video with some bottle caps that i've been making and oh let me show you one more thing i had these butterflies from i had cut them out at the local scrap store and this was like two years ago and this was the paper that i had used this is really pretty um paper and then i just i um it's really thick chipboard i put the paper in the front and back and then i put them on the clothes pins so I've, I've played with these, this one, and this one. This is vellum paper. That's what I was trying to say, the, this one here. That's vellum paper. And then I made this one. And you can decorate them or do whatever, but I thought of just wrapping lace maybe around it or putting the lace underneath and sending it to someone in a rack. So that's what I've been working on. And if you guys haven't done, these owls are absolutely adorable. So again, I will be back with another video on some other stuff I've been working on. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you all have a crafty day. Bye.